Congratulations on choosing the Ansel Checkfire 210 Detection and Actuation System for your mobile equipment. It is a critical first line of defense in case of a fire, helping to protect you as an operator. In this video, you will learn the major components of your Checkfire 210 system, what to do in the event of a fire, and what checks you should conduct to ensure the system is operational. The Checkfire 210 system is designed for use in heavy-duty vehicles that go through the rigors and extreme environmental conditions of the forestry, agriculture, construction, public transportation, public utilities, landfill, waste disposal, and mining industries. Whatever vehicles you have in your fleet equipped with the Ansel Checkfire 210 detection and actuation system, you can be confident in heavy-duty fire detection and suppression in case of fire. The Checkfire 210 is a state-of-the-art automatic fire detection and actuation system that provides monitored input and output circuits to activate an Ansel fire suppression system. The Checkfire 210 system features two detection circuits and one releasing circuit to provide a fully supervised electronic detection and actuation system. The detection circuits are configurable for various options, including single zone detection, two zone detection, crossed zone detection, discharge pressure feedback monitoring, or alarm only. There are several key system components you should become familiar with. The Checkfire 210 interface control module communicates with the Checkfire 210 display module and is the direct connection between what is detected inside the vehicle and the vehicle operator. The Checkfire 210 system display module should be mounted in clear view of the operator as it provides real-time system status. LED indicators provide notification of system status relating to power, release, detection, discharge, and shutdown. It has a single button operation that allows the operator to reset, silence, or delay system release. And it also has a button to manually actuate the system. Doing so triggers the release circuit and illuminates the red LED alarm light. The electric pneumatic actuator is mounted on the expellent gas cartridge located near the agent tank. The release circuit provides supervision from the Checkfire 210 system to the electric pneumatic actuator and can actuate a maximum of 10 electric pneumatic actuators for optimum fire protection. Another means of manual actuation is by the electric manual actuator. This provides electrical activation of the fire suppression system and is located along paths of egress a thermal linear detection wire and spot thermal detectors detect fires. As soon as a fire is detected, a signal is immediately sent to the interface control module, which then communicates to the display module to alert the vehicle operator and automatically actuate the system. The agent tanks contain an LVS liquid agent specifically formulated not only to suppress the fire, but also cools hot surfaces to help prevent reflash. The LVS liquid agent is dispersed throughout the vehicle via the hose and nozzle distribution system designed to cover specific hazard areas. The liquid fire suppressant is dispensed at a constant pressure through the system. If a fire does occur, there are some steps you must take to help ensure your safety. When a fire is detected, the control module will provide an audible and visual notification. At this point, make sure to make a safe and controlled stop set the parking brake, and shut off the engine to reduce the chance of intensifying the fire. Then safely exit the vehicle by the most direct route. Move a safe distance away from the vehicle and stand by with a hand portable extinguisher. The Ansel Redline Cartridge Operated Portable Fire Extinguisher is used and trusted by high-risk industries because of its reliability, ease of service, and on-the-spot recharge. Also, evacuate the area according to your employer's instructions. If you detect a fire before the Checkfire 210 system, you can manually actuate the system. First, bring the vehicle to a complete stop as quickly and safely as possible. Next, shut off the engine and any other components that may intensify the fire and set the brakes. Make sure the vehicle is completely stopped and the engine is off before manually actuating the system. Then, open the guard door on the check fire electronic control module. Press the red Push to Activate Alarm When Lit button. 
the release circuit immediately activates the connected fire suppression system. If utilized, the programmable relays will activate auxiliary functions. Note that the push to activate alarm when lit LED and sounder will remain a steady on for 10 seconds during actuation of the fire suppression system. The LED and sounder will continue to pulse once every 10 seconds post discharge. Exit the vehicle quickly, grab a Redline cartridge operated hand portable fire extinguisher and evacuate to a safe distance away from the area according to your employer's instructions. Guard against any fire that may reignite once the fire suppression system has been discharged. And remain at the ready until equipment cools and the possibility of reignition is no longer a threat. If you are off the vehicle when a fire occurs and it is safe to do so, pull the ring pin and strike the red button on either the electric or pneumatic manual actuator. When it is safe to re-enter the equipment, push the delay reset silence button to silence the sounder. When a fire is detected by the CheckFire 210 system, a series of actions will take place. First, the CheckFire 210 control module will indicate an alarm condition in the hazard area and then start the time delay sequence. The CheckFire 210 has two programmable time delay periods. During time delay one, the push to activate alarm when lit LED and sounder will be activated. It will pulse twice every second until the last five seconds of the time delay. Then it will pulse four times per second during the final five seconds and remain steady on for one second, indicating transfer to time delay two. During time delay two, the push to activate alarm when lit LED and sounder will pulse four times per second. After the time delay has expired, the push to activate alarm when lit LED and sounder will stay on steady for 10 seconds during the actuation of the fire suppression system and activation of auxiliary functions. After the system has discharged, the shutdown LED and the detection zone alarm will pulse and the LED will flash every 10 seconds. During automatic detection, you have the ability to use the delay silence reset button to reset and restart time delay one so you can have more time to bring the vehicle to a safe stopping point before the fire suppression system is activated. This is the only delay period you can control, and depending on how the system is programmed, you can only restart it twice. As soon as the time delay begins, stop and exit the vehicle. Or if you need more time, push the delay silence reset button. As with manual actuation, bring the vehicle to a complete stop as quickly and safely as possible. Shut off the engine and any other components that may intensify the fire and set the brakes. Again, exit the vehicle quickly. Grab a Redline cartridge operated hand portable fire extinguisher and evacuate to a safe distance away from the area according to your employer's instructions. And guard against any fire that may reignite once the fire suppression system has been discharged. Remain at the ready until equipment cools and the possibility of reignition is no longer a threat. The CheckFire 210 control module delay, reset, and silence button is specifically designed for easy use. Restart the time delay by pressing and releasing the button during time delay one. This must be initiated before the transfer to time delay two. Pressing down and holding it will not extend the time delay period. And be warned that delaying the fire suppression system activation may cause the fire to intensify. You can silence the sounder and fault notifications for two hours by pressing and releasing the button to stop the sounder. The LED fault indication will continue until the fault is cleared and any new fault or detection will reactivate the sounder. To silence the sounder during a post-discharge notification for two hours, simply press and release the button. The reset function is for an authorized Ansel distributor service technician. The power LEDs on the CheckFire 210 display module have several indications. A green steady on light on the power LED indicates normal external power. A green light flashing once every three seconds indicates normal internal power. An amber light that pulses one time every three seconds indicates an external power fault and the system is operating on internal battery. 
An amber LED and sounder pulsing once every 10 seconds indicates a power fault on both internal and external power. If the LED is off, that indicates the system has lost all power. The detection 1 and 2 LEDs will indicate either an amber fault condition or a red alarm condition. The release LED only indicates an amber fault condition. The shutdown LED will show a red indication only after the system is activated. The discharge LED will only flash if pressure switch feedback is activated. And finally, the isolate LED will pulse two times every 30 seconds when the isolate feature is activated. Pulsing amber LEDs with sounder indicate a fault condition. Be aware that any fault indication can cause the system to not function properly. Contact an authorized Ansel distributor immediately for inspection. Lastly, it's important to understand how best to ensure the optimum functionality of the Checkfire 210 detection and actuation system. Inspect and maintain the system as follows. Every day, visually verify that the power LED is a steady green, or pulsing green one time every three seconds, and that all other LEDs are off. Any that are on or pulsing indicates a problem, and an authorized Ansel distributor should be called to inspect the unit. Also, visually inspect tanks, hoses, fittings, and connections to make sure that they are all secure. If you see any loose components or connections, or see any signs of physical damage, contact your authorized Ansel distributor right away to inspect the system. If any other conditions exist, including amber or red LEDs, and the audible alarm is going off, contact your local authorized Ansel distributor as well. To ensure maximum performance and reliability for the life of the vehicle, the Checkfire 210 system should have regular maintenance checks performed semi-annually or more often depending on the operational and environmental conditions your vehicle endures. This scheduled maintenance should only be performed by an authorized Ansel Distributors trained technician. The Checkfire 210 provides an isolate feature that is intended for use by vehicle maintenance and service personnel to minimize the occurrence of accidental activation during routine vehicle maintenance. When placed in isolate mode by activating the switch, the isolate LED and audible will pulse two times every 30 seconds. This disables the system from initiating an automatic release. The system may still be manually actuated by either the red push to activate button or pull the ring pin and strike the red button on a remote actuator, causing an immediate release. If a detection input occurs while the system is isolated, the detection circuit and red push to activate button will pulse once every second. However, the system will not automatically release. Investigate the release input and take appropriate action. Return the system to automatic mode by switching the isolate switch to the normal position. If the Checkfire 210 detection and actuation system is ever activated, whether manually or automatically, the fire suppression system must be recharged immediately. This can only be done by an authorized Ansel distributor. The Checkfire 210 detection and actuation system, in combination with the Ansel vehicle fire suppression system, is your first line of defense against fire. The intent of this video is to offer you a better understanding of the system's capabilities and to point out what the operator responsibilities are in case of a fire. If you have any further questions about the Checkfire 210 system, please contact your Ansel representative.